Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to get right into the reading. There's some kind of story that wants to come out here, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, I really appreciate your comments. Thank you guys so much for helping me get back in the algorithm. Um, I love hearing your stories too. It's really, you know, it's really interesting to hear all your different stories. So I really appreciate it. It really motivates me to, to post more and to keep going with this channel. Um, so let's see what the cards want to say. I'm hoping, because I've been channeling the same energy group the, the last few readings I've done. So I'm hoping that there's, I, I want to make sure everyone on my channel gets something here. I want to make sure I, I am able to, to, you know, channel all these different energy groups. So hopefully this is a new energy group so that the people that have not resonated with the past few readings or so um, will hopefully be in this energy group. But again, if this isn't your reading, just check the other ones and I'll be posting more frequently as well, probably at least a few times a, a week as long as there's the continued engagement, you know, I'll continue to post. But um, But yeah, hopefully this is a new energy group. So if this isn't your story, then, you know, I'm sure another one will be. I'm going to make sure I reach everyone here. Okay. I've got message of concern, thoughts, toil and labor. Hmm. Gifts. Journey. Family room. Adjudication. Pathway. False person and mature woman. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Tell, let me know if this is your story because I feel like I feel like this is a new energy group. I mean, this could potentially be linked to the last reading I did. I was getting a warning that there was some toxic woman that was going to pop back in somebody's energy. So this could be the same woman for some of you. But the energy I'm getting here is that this man wants to offer this woman something and somebody's trying to block it. There's a false person here who's trying to block this. For a lot of you, it, it's almost like... There's like a message of concern. I feel like this man is concerned about this woman that he cares about. And this could be like an ex-wife. He might just have this deep respect and love for her, even if they're not together anymore. Um, for some, I feel like this might be... For some of you, I feel like maybe this man owes you child support. Or maybe if there is not any kind of agreement to, you know, offer you child support, I feel like he just feels like it's the right thing to do to financially help you. It's going to be, if this is your energy group, it's going to be different for everybody. But basically the energy I'm getting is that this man is concerned about this woman. I feel like this woman is, she's in either spiritual poverty, like she's going through some hardships right now, or she might be in financial poverty. And I feel like this is really heavily on this man's mind. This man is really thinking a lot about this woman. He's really concerned about her. Um, he really wants to help her get ahead in life. He, he's just concerned for her well-being. So it, again, it's either, it's either, you know, actual financial poverty or it could be her mental state right now. Maybe he just, he knows that she's going through something and he wants to give her some kind of gift. This could be an inheritance. I feel like she might have to travel to him to get this gift. Now this, this man could be an ex of yours, but this could also be like a father or a brother, an uncle or somebody in your family. I'm getting almost like Cinderella story kind of vibes. There's like some wicked woman here that doesn't want you to have this gift. Um, so again, whether this is money or whether this is, you know, maybe this man just wants to give you more energy or more, or more time. I feel like he's making a judgment call and he feels like this is the right thing to do. We have family room and we have adjudication here in Pathway. Um, I really feel like... Like I said, for some, I feel like maybe this this is like child support. This man wants to financially help this woman and this false person. This could be like a mother or like an ex doesn't want her to receive this financial help. I feel like she's been in his head. He's trying to she's trying to block this. Whatever this is, this false person wants to block it. She might want it for herself. She doesn't want him to give this woman uh, this this offer, whatever this is. She she doesn't want that to come through. 
So maybe like one of those situations where maybe you're like, maybe this is like your ex-husband and, he, and he's thinking, you know, I should probably give her more money to help with the kids. Like, you know, she's been really understanding. She's been patient with me. And this, this mother figure of his, um, or this, you know, new girlfriend of his that might be older than him. It does look like an older woman here, um, might be coming through and basically telling him like, oh, you don't owe her anything. Like you, she's just very, very deceitful, very deceptive energy here. You don't owe her anything. Keep that money for yourself. It's like he's trying to do the right thing here. There's something coming up where he's trying to do the right thing. Or he might even want to apologize to this woman for something that he's done in the past. Because I get this sense of like concern for her. Like he wants her to, he wants to help her get in a better state. And I feel like maybe this other woman wants his money. Like she, she doesn't. Tell me more about this. Main male. Community. Unexpected income. Wealthy man. Concern. He might be connected to people in the community. Like this could be people that he works with as well. Where it's like he's come into some unexpected income. Maybe like he received an inheritance or he received something. And maybe he originally promised to help you financially. If you're this woman, maybe he originally promised to help you financially. And now it's like this this other woman is trying to get him to go back on it. There, She's trying to get him to uh, to not give you this money. Or to not give you this this assistance or this apology, whatever it is here. Okay, I'm going to start doing, um, you know, I, like I said, I love hearing from you guys. I really love hearing your stories. It really, it really motivates me to keep going with this channel. You know, as long as you guys are engaging, I'm going to keep posting. Um, but I'm going to do some short ones and some longer ones as well. So I'm going to try to keep this one short and then, you know, I'll come back on here throughout the next, you know, week. I'll, I'll be doing some random ones here and there. The Fool... Five of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like this man wants to be this woman's knight in shining armor. It's like he sees that she's going through um, anxiety or financial struggle. And, you know, he wants to come through in this kind of passionate, you know, take charge energy with the Knight of Wands and Nine of Cups here, wishes fulfilled. He might not, like I said, he might not necessarily be romantically tied to this woman anymore. Like I said, for some of you, I feel like this is like your ex-husband where he has a deep respect and a deep admiration for you. And maybe this could be somebody that like, maybe you, um, I just hear like this older, like this woman being like, oh, you don't owe her anything. You don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe people anything. So it's like he's wanting to give somebody like a gift, an apology or a financial offer. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. It could be like a like a spiritual or emotional gift that this man wants to give this woman from his past. Um because he is concerned about her. Whatever's going on, I feel like this man is really concerned about this woman. But it, it, it's like this older woman or this this false person, whoever this is, could be a relative or a or a, a, a person he's talking to now that just wants to block this. He's She's almost trying to gaslight him into being like, oh, no, she's fine. She can take care of herself. Like, she's good. Like, he might be aware that you're struggling with something and that you need some help. And this could even be something like a, like health issues. Like maybe you're struggling, like you just, you need some kind of help right now, whether it's mental, physical, money, whatever it might be. He sees you, he sees if this is your story, you know, like I said, I'm going to be channeling different energy groups. So if this isn't your story, you know, the next one might be. So like there's, there's going to be, you know, only take it if it resonates. But basically it's like, he's wanting to help her somehow. And yeah, she just keeps getting in his head and trying to, trying to kind of manipulate him into, it's almost like this woman is very selfish. She has, she's only out for herself, but she's trying to make it seem like she really cares about his best interest. When in reality, I think she wants something from him. Like maybe she wants this money. So she's trying to manipulate him into not giving this other woman this money, basically. Like, she she's she has hidden motives here. Um, let's look into that really quick, actually. Let's look into the hidden motives. Because, like, he wants to come in and, and 
it, it's like a sense of duty. Like I said, he might not have feeling. He may or may not. It's going to be different for everybody. For some, he does have feelings for this woman. For others, this is like an ex-wife where he just, you know, he feels like it's the right thing to do. Or it could be like maybe this woman is a friend of his that he borrowed money from in the past. And he's just thinking, you know, yeah, it was years ago, but, you know, I still need to pay my debts. I should pay this because I feel like he just got some kind of unexpected income from um when we got the community card so like maybe he was like gambling or he won the lottery or he um like won some lottery money not like not millions necessarily or maybe he got like an inheritance it's like he had some kind of th this man has some kind of money coming in and this woman wants to control that tell me more about her her intentions ace of swords the devil yeah, she wants to block him from the truth. Five of Wands, because we have like, you know, like truth and clarity coming is coming in. But she, with the Devil card here, it's like she wants to block that. She wants him to. I'm almost getting like a Cinderella story. Like maybe this like woman is like jealous of this other woman. It's almost like, like that that wicked stepmother that like doesn't want only wants her children to have the best. She doesn't want anybody else. This could even be. I'm actually getting because for some this might be um maybe if like this is your ex-husband maybe he's with this woman and they have kids together or like maybe she has her own kids from a previous marriage and she wants that money going to her child like she doesn't want it going to his children from his past relationship it's really messed up but yeah it's like the truth is coming in and this is like justice too like divine justice like I feel like his spirit guides are saying because I really feel like a gentle energy from this woman from his past like this woman this isn't one of those women who's just like out for money and just trying to hustle him like she's been really if, if she's been really patient and understanding about him not paying her back or not you know offering a lot of money for child support or whatever it is or like if this is a situation where he just hasn't apologized like she's been really understanding with him so this is divine justice you know she's being rewarded too for her patience for being understanding for not you know she's not like a gold digger she's not one of those types it's just like you know, I'm taking you to court and milking you for every cent I could get. Like, she's not bitter. I feel like if this is like an ex-husband, she still has a, like a friendship with him or like a good, like they have like a mutual respect for each other, even if they don't love each other romantically anymore. They, they still have that, you know, they, they still have, they're both very wise people. They're very, um, you know, very empathetic people. But yeah, this, this woman, whoever this is, this could be a mother of his, this could be his mother could be um someone he's dating but it's like she doesn't want her this woman to receive this gift yeah with the devil she's trying to block it she's trying to block it and then we have the five of wands to conflict miscommunication she wants to block block this tell me more about why the moon hidden intentions the lovers eight of wands Four of Cups, the star. Let me see here. So lovers is about. Hmm. For some, she might. This woman might not even be a threat anymore. Like this might actually be a situation where you know, this ex-wife of his or this, this friend from his past, like there's nothing romantic going on. And like, she might just be worried. She might just be one of those insecure, controlling, bitter people that just does not want to share anything. Like she's not an empathetic woman. Um, she's basically bitter and she's trying to get this man, she's kind of dragging this down, this man down with her. I think she's worried that this man is going to message this woman and that there's going to be like a reconciliation or that they're going to like she, she's like jealous basically and she wants that money and attention for herself or whatever it is it's like she wants this to be rejected yeah she wants someone to walk away from this I almost feel because I'm not really getting a strong romantic vibe between these two I almost feel like this is like a friend that owes you money or this is like a um like could be from years ago and or or somebody that uh Maybe they just owe you an apology. Um, or like I said, maybe it's like an ex of yours that owes you child support. It's something like that. Or it could even just be simply like this person just sees that you're going through it and they want to offer some financial help. 
I think that this woman is so jealous and bitter and insecure and such a just such a negative person that I think that I think this man doesn't feel very close to her and I think that instead of blaming herself she wants to blame other women so even if this is like if this is like your ex-husband or this was just somebody that you had a friendship with she's the type that she's gonna blame she's gonna assume that he has eyes on you and that he wants to be with you even if this might be someone that was like a brother to you that you never had feelings for or if you guys were divorced and like maybe you guys got divorced years ago it's like one of those situations where it's like like there's nothing going on there but they're having issues because he's seeing through her he's seeing how toxic she is and and again she doesn't want to address her own toxicity she wants to blame other women for it she's that type of person where she's not going to assume that maybe he's being distant from her because he's falling out of love with her and not wanting to deal with her for some I feel like this man might only be with this person because he loves her child that child might have become like a child to, like he might see that child as like his own child at this point and that might be why he's staying with her but I'm getting that he is falling out of love with this woman or if this is like a mother he is starting to like disconnect from her um but yeah, she wants to, she's the type that she wants to blame other women. She doesn't want to take accountability for herself. So, so she feels him kind of distancing from her and she's thinking like, like she's in like, you know, high alert mode, just very controlling energy where she's like, okay, I have to just super jealous, super insecure right now, you know? Um, and there's nothing, I'm not feeling like there's anything going on between this, between these two. He's just, he owes her something. He needs to give something, you know, whether it's finances or there's just, there's something there where he feels like it's the right thing to do to either give her an explanation or give her um, something financially. But I'm not sensing that these two are romantically tied. If they were romantically tied, I feel like it was years ago and they've had plenty of time to move on from it like I'm, I'm not getting a strong romantic energy from this honestly but yeah she like you know she thinks he's gonna walk away from her and go have this ten of cups with this other woman but that's that's her being delusional there's there's nothing going on between them you know it's just he just simply doesn't want this woman anymore he simply is moving on from her but it has nothing he she thinks that he's not being loyal when in reality he's just kind of you know, he's seen through her. Yeah, there's just a transformation. He's he's seeing her differently now. He's not wanting this connection with her anymore. There was some kind of like, like awakening here. And now he's, yeah, anxiety. Yeah, he's seeing her as like... Yeah, he's seeing her as a Queen of Swords type. And she's so worried about like third parties. And she's not realizing that it's her. That it's got nothing to do with third parties. He's just genuinely just falling out of love with her. If they are together. Like I said, for some, this could be like a mother or sister or somebody else that wants money from him. Yeah, it's like she just doesn't. I feel like for most of me, I feel like it's money. It's like he wants to give this other woman money, but it's it's like she really doesn't want. She really does not want her to have this financial offer. I feel like this woman here, this false person, I feel like she's very, um. I feel like she's really, they're very closely tied. Like this is somebody that he's definitely like either living with or he sees her on a regular basis, probably like a couple times a week at least. Um, Cause I do feel like she's really got her claws in him. Like, so I'm, I'm guessing for most that they're probably living together. I feel like, I feel like she's been trying to control his finances and control what he does for a while and I feel like she's very vocal about it like this isn't this isn't the type of energy like where someone's doing some shady stuff behind the scenes I'm not getting that energy I'm getting this energy like this woman is like you know very forward about it she's very like in his business like what are you doing with your money what are you going to invest in like what how much money are you making like or like she she just really nosy really up in his business um what is he going to do regardless of this this woman, this false person? 
He might have just received some clarity about her, too. King of Cups, Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah, I think he's going to... I think he's going to be in the King of Cups energy around her. Like, he's going to try to keep the peace, going to be gentle, going to, you know, tell her what she wants to hear. But I think he's going to be sneaky behind the scenes. I think he's going to... I think that he knows she's after money or she wants control of his finances. This could also be, like, a mother figure that uses finances to control him. Like, maybe she says, like, oh, you're not getting your inheritance unless you do this and this and this. Um that kind of energy as well but I'm getting that he's going to be kind of sneaky but in a positive way he needs to be sneaky because this woman is manipulative but he's going to be more careful about his finances he's not going to he might have made a mistake of letting her know about um some kind of money that he just got and I feel like he's going to be more more mindful of that now he's not gonna he's gonna make up a story I think where he's gonna say like oh I I, you know, spent the money or I invested it. You know, he might say, like, I invested in, in stock. He's going to, because she's really hounding him right now about his finances and about what he's going to do with this money. And I feel like he's going to go into hermit mode and just kind of just... <sighs> yeah, I think he's going to go into hermit mode. I think he's going to do... Let's see, why the, why the heartbreak card here? The hangman, new perspective... Something might have come to light about this toxic woman, too, where he's having a new perspective on it. But he's wanting to do the right thing. He, Like I said, he owes somebody money, um, and he's wanting to... Let's see. Why, why the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles? Page of Wands. Five of Swords. It's almost like she might have been trying to make him like feel like he's in this lack mentality. Like she wanted him to be in this King of Swords energy. She wanted him to be blindfolded. She wanted him to like. There's something sneaky here with like the. With her intentions with his money. It's not. It's not a good energy. She wanted him to stay in the dark, basically. She wanted him to feel, it's almost like she's a very selfish, materialistic person. Like, this is not a woman that has a lot of emotional depth. This is a woman that's very shallow, very materialistic, super materialistic. She's she's does not care a lot about love. She's all about money, um, all about appearances. She might, she's trying to rub off on this man, basically. And I feel like... It's like she wanted him to hoard this money, but she tried to make it seem like it was for his own good, basically. She tried to keep him in this, like, victim mentality, keep him kind of stuck, keep him in the dark. Like, you need to invest your money in this and this and this in stocks. You need to save your money. For some, this could be, like, somebody that maybe she's not doing financially well and she wants him to save money so that if, if things go to shit for her, she can come to him and ask for money. Like, she wants him as, like, a backup plan. Um, for others, she might be using money to control him. There's different stories here, although it's the same general energy group, the same stories, but there's, you know, a couple different variations here because there's, you know, different people watching and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, she tried to make it seem like, you know, you need to save money, otherwise you might... Like, she tried to scare him. This might be a woman that, like has this kind of lack mentality like a like a money doesn't grow on trees mentality so she tried to make him think like you know like if he gets money she tries to just determine what he does with it like you know better not spend it on this or that or you're gonna go broke but again it's a really manipulative energy because she's planning something with that money let me tell you that Seven of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Hmm. She might even try to get him into like a shady business deal because this is like somebody, this could be somebody like waiting for like an investment to pay off and then there's like Ten of Swords, like an ending. This could have even been like a business partner or somebody of his that was trying to like get him to like invest in something. 
Um, and whatever he invested in, it's like they might have like a joint account and then it's like she wants to rip him off somehow. But anyway, let's let's wrap this reading up because I think, you know, most of you get the storyline by now. Um, tell me what he's going to do about this, though. What is he going to do about this this shady woman and this other, you know, this this kinder, gentle woman that he he owes some money to? Yeah, he wants to present some kind of offer. He's going to take his time thinking about this. Um, but I think he is he is wanting to work together. He's wanting to be strong. He Let's see. Five of Cups and the Magician. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I think he has to be strong because he's going through this loss right now with this woman. He's starting to see through her. He's starting to kind of have these epiphanies about this false woman. Um either he he's realizing that she's controlling he's not really giving her the benefit of the doubt anymore he's realizing that she's all about money or um just he's realizing how she's affected his personality how parts of her personality have kind of rubbed off on him but i feel like you know he's he's kind of mourning this loss and he's going through this new perspective but i think he's going to step into his power here as the magician and offer this other woman some kind of either financial help or some kind of apology. So anyway, I hope this helped somebody. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.